Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Elijah here. And as you can tell from the title of the video, today we're going to be talking about hysterical strength. So you're probably asking yourself, what the hell is hysterical strength? And I'm going to break it down to you. Hysterical strength is extraordinary displays of human strength, typically promoted by a life-threatening situation. A really great example of when hysterical strength was shown was when Charlotte Helfmeyer, who weighs 120 pounds, was able to lift a GMC truck after her dad got caught in a fire. Bear in mind too that this car is probably triple her body weight and she was still able to lift it. And to give you guys another example of hysterical strength, in 1982 in Lawrenceville, Georgia, Tony Carvalho was repairing a 1964 Chevrolet Impala when the vehicle fell off the jacks. Mother, Carvalho's mother, Angela Carvalho, was able to lift the car high enough for two neighbors to replace the jack and pull Tony from beneath the car. So this made me question, where exactly does this superhuman strength come from? And basically, right, our hysterical strength comes from our bodies, our body's flight or flight response. It evolved as a survival mechanism, enabling people and other mammals to react quickly to life-threatening situations. So for the people who didn't pay attention in school, I'm gonna quickly break down what fight or flight is. So whenever we're confronted with danger, either our eyes or ears, both send information to the amygdala and the amygdala interprets the images and sounds when it perceives danger and instantly sends a, a distress signal a to the hypothalamus this area of the brain functions like a command center through the nervous system so that that person has the energy to fight or flee our nervous system has two components the sympathetic nervous system the sympathetic nervous system functions like a gas pedal in a car triggering a fight or flight response providing the body with a burst of energy so that it can respond to perceived dangers and the parasympathetic nervous system acts like a brake promoting the rest and digest response calming the body down after danger has passed the hypothalamus activates the sympathetic nervous system by sending signals through the autonomic nerves to the adrenal glands and these glands respond by pumping the hormone epinephrine if i butchered that i beg forgive me g and also known as adrenaline into the bloodstream and as adrenaline enters our body there comes a number of physiological changes example right our heart beats faster than normal pumping blood to the muscle heart and other vital organs but what i love so much about hysterical strength is that it just comes to show how strong our minds really are another great example of hysterical strength is eddie hall now before his world record deadlift right uh, Eddie went on to work with a, a hypermetherapist and a physicist to get him into that mindset because it was believed that a human couldn't lift 500 kg. Eddie was able to create a scenario in his head where instead of him lifting 500 kg off the floor, right, it was almost like he was lifting a car off his kids. And I can't lie, this is kind of like a cheat code, G. And let's say gym, for example, if you lift weights, yeah. If you're able to create like a scenario in your head before you hit like a, like a mad PR, like area, for example, like a big rock is about to crush your mum. You get what I'm trying to say? You'll probably be able to lift some heavy oh, ass weight, you know. To but anyway, guys, if you made it to the end of this video, I want to say thank you so much. I love you guys with all my heart honestly g like i want to say thank you again for all the love and support you guys have been showing me it honestly means the world anyway but if you enjoyed the video make sure to like comment share subscribe yeah and i'll catch you guys in the next one yeah <laughs>